Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mario Party Animal, and yesterday on June 17th, 2015, I went to Nintendo's all-access look at Mario Maker at Best Buy in Countryside, Illinois. It was a really nice demo, actually. Um, for those of you who can go on Saturday, I highly recommend it. Some something worth looking into. And also that free Mario 30th Anniversary button is something worth looking into as well. Um, but yeah, I went there. And surprisingly, there weren't a lot of people there, but that's also why I went on Wednesday, because I don't want to deal with that long line that could potentially happen on Saturday. So it was set up in the gaming area near the Nintendo Wii U display. Uh, Nintendo had some games set out. They had a swag table with a Splatoon poster, some NES Remix posters, a couple other game postcards and stuff like that. They had the whole, um, the whole shebang set up pretty much at the Wii U area. That was really cool. And also as a special surprise for people that went to this event, they also had Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes as a playable three-player demo for people in waiting in line. So I got to play that, got to play with a couple people. They had a whole bunch of dungeons available in the demo to play with, and they all had a lot of challenge in them, so that was really cool. I'll post a couple more clips a little bit in this video, but just know this game is going to be amazing. I love that game. Also, as you can see right here, there's a little piece of paper right here with all the different games. They've announced at E3 for Mario Maker, Yoshi's Woolly World, Star Fox Zero, and then Yokai Watch, Amiibo Festival, all those different games. They have them on pre-order. If you pre-order them at Best Buy, you got a cool little set of Super Mario retro pins. And then also on the back, they had a QR code for a Gold Pants Mr. Miyamoto Me. So that was really cool. So now Mr. Miyamoto is now on my 3DS and my Wii U to play in Nintendo Land and other games like that. So, Triforce Heroes. This game was awesome. Check this out. Yeah, my uh, costumes. Oh, we have to, um, we have to use each of our abilities to get the bonus. Oh, keep walking back and forth between the rocks so you don't, you know, fall. Do we have to get them at the same time? Or right, get ready. Okay. Oh, this is really difficult. Someone missed there. Hey, back up here. We'll, we'll go at the same time. Come back to the safe okay. area. Here's the plan. Ready? I'll go on the left. You go in the middle. And you go on the I right. I go on the right. And okay. then at the same time, we come to the yeah. Ready? Ready? Alright, we got this. One, One two, two, three. Let's, Let's go. go. Go full speed, full speed, full speed. Squad. Fire. <laughs> Squad. I got, I got mine. We got it. Nice. He fell into Run. the lava. We made Oh, die. you <laughs> fell. Yeah, right. Wait, wait, wait. Bridge. No. Bridge push beautiful. it back. Push it back to the lava. Alright, go, go, go. So that Hyrule Heroes demo was really freaking cool. Can't wait for that game to come out. But I only got to play that maybe one or two times before getting back in line and waiting for the real attraction, Mario Maker. So the Mario Maker demo was really freaking cool because it didn't have like three, four courses for everyone to just play over and over again. It actually had, I think it was eight or nine different world sets. And each world set had about three to four levels in it. So there was a total of maybe, I'd say like 36 or so, like 20 to 30 something levels of demo in this game. So this demo was huge. So basically, you got to choose a level, and then each level is drastically different. There were levels that involved going into different doors and corridors. There were levels that involved. There were like there were levels that were not more so run and jumps, but more so they took advantage of different gameplay mechanics. Like there were some levels where you had to use Yoshi and run on piranha plants that were in lava, so you didn't technically die in the lava, but you still had to get through the level on Yoshi or you would die. There were levels where you were getting chased by lots of enemies. There were levels that gave you an invincible star and you had to run across the whole stage in less than 10 seconds. There was there was a lot of variety to be seen in this demo, which was very surprising to me. Just the sheer amount of like challenge that I was seeing and most of the way these levels were designed and the clever ideas that I was saying was just blowing me away because no matter what the style of the level was it was still pretty challenging more so than almost any Mario game I've played in the last couple of years because they're all user created so people can make some pretty crazy things when they have nothing better to do and lots of time on their hands it's pretty much little bit planet Mario and I love that about this game so I can't wait until the game is actually released and people can actually create their own levels. Unfortunately, we couldn't edit any levels that were already in the demo. Although we did see the option, we couldn't really edit anything. We were only able to play them, but that was plenty of 
that was plenty. We didn't really need to edit anything because um, they were kidding people on time restrictions, but it was fun from what I played. Also, I think the coolest thing about the Mario Maker demo was that there were some specific levels that they had in there where you could get this thing called a mystery mushroom, I think they called it, and you can actually turn into Link or Wii Fit Trainer. Um, so this level right here that you're seeing on the screen is actually a legend of, it's called the Adventures of Link or something like that, but it's basically in the beginning of the level you get a mystery mushroom, and then you turn it into Link, and then you're basically running through this whole level as him. You don't get to use his sword or anything, so it's basically Mario with a Link skin, but just being able to see Link in his 8-bit form, like running around and running and jumping and doing more, and like in a Mario world is so freaking cool. Other than this Link level, there was a level where you got to play with the Wii Fit Trainer in 8-bit form, which is pretty freaking sweet. Every time she jumps, she said up, down, up, down. So that was that was freaking hilarious. But other than that, there were no other special characters that made cameos in the demo. Um, like in the Nintendo Direct, we saw uh, Yoshi and Isabelle. They weren't in the demo, but I don't know how they're going to be in the regular game. I don't know if that was just something they put in, or if they're going to be like amiibo support characters. They didn't really tell us that much at the demo, but we're hoping that we'd be able to scan an amiibo and get other Nintendo characters put into Mario Maker as sprites or mystery mushrooms. That would be pretty cool. Alright guys, that's all the Nintendo footage I have for you from the Nintendo Access Mario Maker at Best Buy event. If you guys have not gone to play this game on Wednesday, you should totally try to make some time on Saturday. It's from 12 to 5 at your local Best Buy. Check the listings online, Google it, I don't know the web address, but get some awesome Mario swag, that 30th anniversary Nintendo pin, and also some Splatoon posters or any other type of swag you can grab. Also, pre-order this game. It comes out, I think, September 11th of this year, looking forward to playing it, playing some really hard levels and getting really angry and rage quitting and making my own stuff, but it's going to be great. This is my Party Animal, I'll talk to you guys later, thanks for watching guys, and also check out Slovak Mountain Man, a fellow YouTuber I found at this event, his stuff is pretty cool, so check him out, subscribe to him, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye!